It's your boy, Big Kelf, repping that seven day genetics, and y'all know how I do it. I work out seven days. Seven days. Now, back to my segment that I call Fuck Out of Here, in which I talk about things that bug me. Typically gym related, but occasionally I do go off the cuff. Today I want to talk about something that can be gym related, but for all intents and purposes, it's really not gym related. But anyway, what I want to talk about are flaws or perceived flaws. People allow their flaws to control their lives. Sorry about this bumping around these roads are fucked up in Michigan but anyway people allow these flaws or perceived flaws to control their lives they for instance let's just say this if a person feels like oh well I don't have a left hand a lot of times they're afraid to go play basketball with people because they're afraid somebody's going to judge them based off of it Women, a lot of times, are afraid to wear certain bathing suits because of their flaw. A lot of times, gut, saggy butt, uh, saggy chest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men scared to take off their shirt because saggy chest, gut, back fat. It, it's these things that we need to learn to deal with and address so we can actually have a more rounded character. Now people might ask, what the hell are you talking about? Thing is, when you have these flaws, imperfections, or whatever they are, perceived flaws or imperfections, they control your life. So it keeps you from doing a lot of things that you want to do but you won't otherwise do because these dumbass flaws. Let me tell you something. If you're a person and you got the saggy chest and all that, or butt or whatever it is, take your ass to the gym. If you're, you know, some stuff is just stupid. Some, some, some stuff is just stupid. Um, some people are, you know, feel like it's a flaw to have gray hair. Some people feel like it's a flaw. Oh, well, I, I, I ain't going to the beach because, man, I had to pull these feet out, man. I ain't showing nobody my feet. Come on, man. That's stupid stuff, man. Address, address your perceived flaws and move on with your life, man. If not, they're constantly going to hold you back. A perceived flaw that a lot of people have today is, oh, I don't have a college education. I won't be able to get that job. Come on now, man. If you didn't go to college, hey, deal with it. I went to college and let me tell you something, sometimes that ain't, that's not the best thing. Doesn't always help you get a job. So stop walking around thinking you can't do something because you don't have that college education. Or if you can't do something because you don't have this skill or that. Go ahead, try it, man. Don't let that perceived flaw control you. Because if you do, you a dumb bitch. And you know, I usually would say kidding at this point about something when I when I judge people. But let me tell you something. No, I'm not going to. You're dumb if you're allowing yourself to be controlled by something perceived. Put yourself out there. See what happens. Only thing that happen is you can either pass or fail. That's it. And let's say you pass. Now all of a sudden you got that job you wanted because you didn't doubt yourself. Flaws and imperfections are generally something you make up in your own mind. Now sometimes they are based off our society because our society is pure shit. But man, don't allow that shit to control you. Just don't. And the reason I bring this up is because I heard somebody the other day at the gym was like, man, I just feel uncomfortable coming to the gym because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, I got a gut now on people. What? The whole 
point of coming to the gym is getting rid of that damn gun. So you're going to let your perceived flaw or imperfection control you so you're never going to lose that gun. So you're always going to have that imperfection that's in your head. Stupid motherfucker. Let me tell you something. This dude came to the gym, felt like he wanted a tour, and then all of a sudden said to the person that was giving him the tour, I don't want us, nobody to see my gut. Dude, that's the whole point of getting yourself in shape. It's to take care of your body so you look good, you feel good, and you're healthy. I just wanted to go up to him, and he had this big hoodie on. It's hot as hell because he wanted to hide his body. I wanted to grab him by the hood, Slap his ass. Say, fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Get your shit together. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kel. If you like what you've heard, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you don't like to subscribe, that's cool too, man. Just watch my damn videos and make sure you signed in when you do. Also, if you have an idea for an upcoming video and it's something that you think would bother me as much as it bothers your ass, go ahead and put it in the comments. And I guarantee you that if it does bother me as much as it bothers you, I'll make a video about it. But if not, fuck that. I probably won't make a video and I hope you can get over it. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kelv. And as usual, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.